I'm just going to walk up. Well, welcome. This is a test video, really. Uh, I'm hoping to do my next build is going to be a bird. A bird, either a bird of prey or a pterodactyl. Um, not quite sure. I'm waiting for the votes to come in. But I'm hoping to use a material which is readily available. And uh, so here it is. As I disappear in green screen. <laughs> it's green laminate floor underlay it's a polystyrene xps polystyrene it's 60 centimeters by 85 centimeters sheets they're five mil um, thick you can buy them at most hardware stores i think you can get it down to about 17 pound 99 for 19 sheets so um, what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to run through two things i want to check one a suitable glue i want to use and the other thing is, is how I can get some curves in it, whether we can use, like I've done with my little glider, using steam or heat to actually help it shape certain areas. So, this is just a video on the glues to use on the green um, insulating foam. Okay, so let's just run through some of the... I've already ruled out super glue two reasons one with some preliminary experiments um, it's burned through um, I don't want to run to the cost of using um, a foam safe super glue and as I've already said in previous videos I am not happy with using anything that uh, produces fumes so I have a cheap PVA adhesive which I bought from a local hardware store I've got P, I've got Gorilla Glue, that's their white wood glue which I've used and quite like. I have standard foaming um, glue from Gorilla. I've got my super fatic wood glue which I'm going to use. And I've also got these two which are well known to be used on polystyrenes already. So that's the Yuhu Pour and I've also invested in this foam to foam foam safe. So what I'm aiming to do is I have some test pieces and I am just going to glue them like so and what I'd like to do is possibly run a fillet over the top like so like a cap strip just to see how well the glues actually adhere to um, that structure when it's got some curve in it Okay, the other thing I wanted to test is just how much of a curve we can put on with this. Um, I did a little bit of experimenting in the kitchen and you can use steam, uh, but that's a little bit um, long-winded. I did try hot, a solar film style hot air gun, heat gun. Um, it's too hot really um, you'd have to be very very quick as you'll burn it very quickly the thing I found quite success that's worked quite successfully <coughs> is just a hair dryer and then all I've done is you notice if you overheat it it will go shiny So I've got that on the hottest setting, but I'm just moving it very, very quickly. And then what I found was I could just slowly start to work that round, like so. I've got it sort of about halfway round. It takes a bit of time, but it does actually. And what I 
I've did was I just slowly worked this round like so. And just form that round like so. Let it cool down and the moment it's cooled um, that'll be ready to come off. So that's actually, I can glue that and that's actually quite promising for a future project which I have lined up. I'm not going to let you know what it is but at the moment that's quite exciting for a very big project I've got. Shape might be a bit of a giveaway but anyway it does take a shape. I'm going to leave that overnight just to see what happens. Um, I did one earlier as an experiment, so I'm going to leave those, see what happens, and see how much they open up by. But uh, that's uh, quite an import, that's quite an impressive um, concept to be able to do that. But definitely use a hairdryer. Don't use a hot air gun. Right. Okay. 24 hours later. Uh, let's have a little look. So this is the PVA, just a standard cheap PVA I bought from a local shop. Um, I've taken all the pins out, um, ah, yeah, that's just pulled off, dead, dead easy, um, it's, yeah, that's a fail, and the, yeah, it's just, it's, it's like, I've got to be honest here, there's like a little glossy surface on this particular material, and I'm wondering if that might be having an effect, but it's not even bonded to the open bit there. So, PVA, that's a no. Gorilla glue, wood glue. Uh, that's taking some force, but similar to the PVA. I mean, that's manageable but I'm, I'm not really happy with that one I mean yeah peels off real easy so um, the Gorilla Glue wood glue that's a fail for my projects anyway now foaming standard Gorilla Glue uh, let's have you can see obviously you get the foaming on the outside but that sands off quite nicely Yeah, I mean that, yeah, that's on. I mean, if I tried really hard, in fact, that's peeled off and taken a small layer with it, if you can see. So that, at the moment, the cap strip stayed on well, and it's actually taking some of the surface off. So, uh, not so good on there. And again, I think it might be this shiny surface, but that's a, that's a possible downside of the Gorilla Glue for me is the fact that it takes 24 hours to go off. So I'm putting that over on the not failed, but a possible. Now, super fatic glue. That's... Uh, Yeah, that, I mean that. Yeah, that's that's actually better than a really good. I mean, you can peel it off, but that's going to be more than enough strength. That's not going to give me an in-flight structure failure. Now that's interesting because that super fatic glue has just gone through. I don't know if you can see that in the light. There you go. That has just gone through. So it's not eroded it. But it's just taken that top surface off and you can see on there it's on the other side so that and given the time that I can get that off that's a that's a that's a yes for me so the two dedicated ones this is you who port for expanded polystyrene glue um, 
Now, interestingly enough, that's actually eroded both sides. Not too impressed with that. That is a fail. I mean, it's still actually sticky. Um, and again, yeah, my purpose is, I'm sorry, this particular material, you who pour, that's a fail. So the last one is foam to foam. Yeah, this is very good. Yep, that's very good. Let's see what the ribbon is. That's taking some force to break that, and that's very similar to the Superfatic. As you can see, there's just been a little bit of erosion of the surface, and I do wonder whether I actually, when I'm doing any of the builds, that it might be worth experimenting with just giving these a light sand before I apply the glue. So, that's a definite for foam to foam definite for super fatic and uh, a possible overnight gorilla glue but at the moment super fatic foam to foam they get my votes one last thing the um, cowlings that we made uh, for a potential jet or oh, did I say jet did I give it away um, that's not really spread out the one I did earlier, which was an experiment, has spread out just a little, um, but I didn't really go mad on that, so that's quite good. I think what I might try to go and do is see if I can get these to butt together with either the foam safe or the super fatic and see how well they stayed glued. But anyway, glue for the project using the um, polystyrene tile underlay for laminate flooring it's going to be these two glues so this is a little project which I did earlier in the summer when I did some laminate flooring for my daughter and uh, this is just what's going to be an electric F15 downloaded the plans and um, just did a little bit of experimenting with it um, I really like the product but we're going to find out very shortly with the next bird build.